what's happening everybody it's been a while I want to show you some more uh, bike mods I totally did away with the stock headlight uh, signals all that jazz that come sticking away out here you know cut all that off now everything's all in all in one there on the back and took him big old front ugly gawky um, signals off and put these real small on and I took the factory light out and put one of those aftermarket LEDs it's stupid bright it's almost too bright <laughs> on uh, on low it literally blinds people but that's what our signals look like now and um, the back is really that's all you get <laughs> got one over here and one over here but shit that's all we need you know we're uh, we're slimming down and low profiling it got the sticker thing mounted in here but it's doing really good I got um, a metal one of these ordered it's gonna be two or three days come in but these ain't much and this is high dollar shit in here so they make a real nice black rock guard steel one I'm putting on and uh, that'll be about it I don't know if I even showed this in the last video but we got our exhaust wrap um, I wrapped these too just because I like the feel of them better um, it's uh, a little bit rougher. I tried to find some shrink tape tubing. It was just big enough to go over that and red and I could slide up and then shrink um, wrap it and it would look awesome. But I can't find no shrink wrap big enough to go over that tube. Um, we got our carbon fiber, but we ain't done it yet. I'm pulling this off and it's going to be wrapped in carbon fiber and this center section you see how it's a different color and yucky and i can't stand that i don't like it so i'm taking this one outer guard off and wrapping just this inner guard with the carbon fiber and then putting all that so it'll be black carbon fiber and black and then just that down there be carbon fiber um just going to do small you know touch up actually need the the wrap here to, um the wrap will protect that and look better too and i'm trying uh to debate i'm probably not going to wrap the tank i thought it would look cool to be in carbon fiber and wrap but i'm doing away with this tank um that's a metal tank and it's very small you got about four hours riding no matter where you go interstate mountains right around four hour mark it's gonna run out on you so um they sell one that's exactly one u.s gallon bigger than this i think it's 3.5 holds a lot more fuel and um right now or this is all coming on the outside of the tank it's all sort of inset on the other tank and i think it makes the bike even look better and you can get it in white or black and the black is a uh, like a white or a, a me uh, i don't know how to explain it a textured feel just like sort of like the frame is so uh I'm gonna put that tank on. Other than that, I'm, I'm slowing down. I've, there's not much else I'm gonna be doing to it. I sort of like how it is. Uh, the mirrors, um, I'm gonna get a set of those breakaway mirrors. They're um, off-road. Uh, they're actually smaller than these and a little round head and they got a breakaway bar right here. So if you drop it or hit or whatever, they break away right there. We keep our extra phone charging system up here, 
10,000 milliamp battery. That's handy when you're hitting the mountains and going to be three or four days before you come out. We keep a knife right up here. Um, we jerk out. I'm not going to pull it out. But um, you got, you know, just to cut tree limbs and shit in the trail. Um, this is my cigarette bag. Just to keep smokes and stuff like that in there. Keep my gloves up here. I don't wear these gloves until I go on long rides. Anytime I'm going to go on a ride longer than an hour or something, I put them gloves on because they're uh, uh, street. If you wreck on pavement, your knuckles is protected by this really hard plastic shit. And on the on the palm, right where the where your hands is going to. Um, I hardly ever wear a helmet. I don't, I don't ever wear a helmet. But if I go on long trips up in, in the Lao and hitting the interstate and stuff, I do wear my helmet. But when I get there, I take it off. Um, but you'll never catch me without them gloves. Um, Cause that's the first thing that hits. Your hands is gonna catch yourself. And can you imagine, let me lay that down. Can you imagine the you wrecking 50, 60 mile an hour and you trying to catch yourself on that, that God, it would lead it to the bone. So, uh, that's the first thing I've always got tore all to hell back when I was younger and riding bicycles, motorcycles. Man, those hands get tore up first. So I always got my gloves on. We just uh, putt-putting on these back streets and a chilling and a beautiful day. We got, uh, well, I better not discuss all that on YouTube. But you all take care. Just uh, another blog here. We ain't doing the FPV stuff no more. It's just turning into Thailand daily blog, I guess you say, what uh, what all's going on in our life. So you guys take care. Enjoyed it. And uh, I'll start the uh, next couple of videos. I'll be... Uh, uh, posting some mods on my pickup got a little Mazda pickup in the works now and but it's in the shop and we're doing some stuff to it so um, as soon as I get on the road I'll show you all what uh, what we're doing there take care um, I, I'm probably going to change the channel name to be honest I may even start another channel or something because uh, we can FPV don't fit for nothing now so you guys take care whatever this channel's called i'll be thinking of it anybody think of a good uh, comment that maybe knows me or something and uh, throw it in the comments but we'll see you next time cheers from thailand